Thanks for coming, Terry. I was a little bit worried when I got your message. Why? All the contents of it. Are you sure this is what you really want? Yes. Did you ring what I asked? Excellent. Why? Hmm? What happened to you, mate? I broke the only rule there is. I got emotionally connected. So where do you think he is? He can't have gone far. <laughs> Got him. River Sand Centre. He's with Terry. He's back. <laughs> Not for long. You know how long I've been in the field. How many assignments I've completed. And never once did I break that rule. Not once. Yeah, well there's one key difference with Claire. How do you know her name? I do my research, mate. And truth be told, about eight months ago, I did a background check on her. Why? Because I found out you'd run away together. Wait. I didn't know you knew anything about this. You've been gone for the last two years. Just because I've been gone doesn't mean I haven't been keeping an eye on my protégé. And when I heard you'd gone off grid, I needed to check on her. Because... Well, because I cared about you and... I, want, I needed to know she was clean. Which she was. Exactly, mate, and that's my point. She was innocent. You say you went for years killing murderers and didn't break the rule. Do you know why? Because they were a threat, a risk. The evil even. You can't emotionally connect to evil, but you can with good. And Claire was honest. And good. And because of me, she's dead. Oh, come on, you can't think like that, mate. Why not? Because it'll get you killed. Isn't that why we're here today? How far away are we? Not long. Can I ask you a question? What is it? Do you ever think about where we'd be if things went the other way? No. I just do the job, I get on with it and I don't look back. So you sleep fine at night? Like a baby. No wonder you're Carol's favourite. The reason why I'm Carol's favourite is because I do what I'm told and I don't look back. We don't have to do this, John. It's the only way, Terry. There are other ways. <laughs> Tried them all. Support groups? <laughs> our line of work. Oh, yeah. We don't pour our heart out to people we don't even know. <laughs> Using words that can only ever be half truths. There's no hope for people like us. You know that as well as I do. Have you tried reaching out to Claire's relatives? No, they won't talk to me. They blame me for a death, as they should. It was my fault. You can't blame yourself, mate. I got involved with her in the first place. She was never supposed to have met me. You've tried this before, haven't you? What? Be honest with me. You have, haven't you? Oh, what do you think, Terry? I think we both know the answer to that, don't we? You don't have to do this, John. Yes, I do. It's the only way. No, it's not. Listen. I know it hurts. I really do. I've been down this path many times. There are ways of making it better, John. You can't make it better. I've tried. Then let me help you. I've been your friend for over a decade. And I'll be damned if I'm letting you fall this easily. I appreciate it. Really, I do. But I'm on a one-way street heading straight for a dead end. You know, you were always the one person I could turn to. I've missed you, Terry. What happens if we're too late? That won't happen. We need John for the next part. What is the next part? You don't need to know that yet. Well, if we're late, you and Carol's secret plan won't happen. We won't be late. How can you be sure? 
because because he won't do it. How can you be so sure? I know John Owens better than anybody. He won't do it. They'll be here soon. We better get on with it. Let me guess. Sarah and Steve. <laughs> Carol's little pets. Their intention will be to stop me. Well, maybe that's not such a bad idea. I need this. Yeah, well, do you, though? Don't try and back out now. I'm not backing out, John. I'm just trying to get you to see sense. <laughs> Isn't that basically the same thing as backing out? We don't need to do this. Yes, I do. I know you're hurting, John. But... You don't know anything, Terry. You can't possibly know what I'm feeling right now. I've known you for years, John. I've been with you through the bad times. You can get through this, pal. Not this time. There's no way out for me. Not and I don't want to go on without Claire. Mate, please don't. It's time. John, look at me. I don't care what I have to do or what I have to get hold of. You can get... Th we can get through this. Together. I can't just move on, Terry. How can you expect me to, eh? I know that feeling, mate. Trust me, I do. Well, I'm not you, am I? You've had these feelings before. I haven't. You've learned to move on from love and death. I can't. I can't just do it. I can't just forget. I can't! Please, mate. I'm depending on our friendship. I need you to kill me. Remember that promise we made all those years ago? Don't. March 2004. The Blackman assignment? Don't play that card, mate. We vowed that if either one of us ever got into a corner like this, it'd be taken care of. Yeah, but that was then. And this is now. I'm calling it in. You're my friend? You're my friend too. My best friend. Please, help me. Save me. How far now? Not far. We're near. Do you think Terry will try and talk him out of it? I hope so. Where exactly has Terry been? He disappeared. Two years ago, he vanished. Off the grid. Aren't you curious as to where he went? No. It wasn't an order for me to investigate, so I never. But aren't you the slightest bit curious? No. Terry Miller is an old man who hasn't had a hit since 2007. Pathetic old men. Don't worry me. Almost three o'clock. Right, it's time. Are you sure about this? <laughs> yes, I need this. I can't, mate. This is not an assignment. Terry? I can't. I won't kill someone I care about. You owe me this. Fox, I'm not doing it. Have you ever watched somebody you love die? They slowly get sucked into the darkness. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. You're helpless. You scream, but that has no effect. You cry, but nothing happens. Watching somebody die is the worst kind of pain there is. Do you know why? Because that image never leaves you. There's no medicine on this earth that can cure or erase that image. It's there, forever burned into your memories. You can't sleep. You can't eat. You can't drink. You can't do anything. Because that image is always there. Because it's there until the day you die. Do you know how many sleeping pills I've taken to try and get some sleep? bottle after bottle of them. It don't work. Because that image is always there, burned into your skull. And it won't leave. You can see them laying in their own blood. You can hear their voice begging for help. Every time you close your eyes, you see that image. I can't live anymore. Help me. Save me. Why me? Why not just do it?
yourself? You think I haven't tried? I've tried the rope, drowning, overdose, I've tried everything. You see, Terry, I may want to die. I'm too much of a coward to go through with it. That's why I need you. Terry Miller, the professional. Shoot to kill. Save me from this pain. For God's sake, help me! So how are we going to do this? I'll sit here. You walk away. And from behind me, turn and shoot. Thanks for everything. It'll be okay, mate. It'll be swift. It'll be painless. It'll be okay, mate. Yes, sir. If Terry's still there, kill him. Are you sure, sir? Terry has knowledge of certain things. It's time to put the old man down. Yes, sir. And remember, we need Owens alive. Yes, sir. I know who killed Claire. I found out last night. And I've got to get it off my chest. And you deserve to know. It was... This is all you. You did this. Do you think he told him? Even if he did, it won't matter. He won't remember a thing once we finish with him. And after I've delivered the dose of scolopathy, he won't remember. Too bad about the other side effects. We won't have to worry about a thing. Dump the body. No! He doesn't deserve it. Let him rot in the open. feel any shred of guilt? No. I enjoy it. I kind of feel sorry for him. Well, kill those feelings immediately. John had feelings, and look what happened to him. was a bitch anyway. Carry John back to the car. He's dead, sir. Good. What about John? Should we kill him too? No. We need him alive for the next part. 
sir. We have Owen, sir. He's alive. Miller wasn't so fortunate, though. When Owens wakes up, tell him Miller never came back. Sir? It's easier for all of us if he forgets today ever happened. As far as John Owens is concerned, Terry Miller disappeared two years ago and hasn't been seen since. Yes, sir. Hey, you okay? Where am I? River Sun Center. We went for a little walk. Where's Terry? Who? Miller, where, where's Terry Miller? Whoa, calm down. Uh, where is he? John, Terry Miller vanished off the grid two years ago. No, I, I was just talking with him. John, Terry Miller has been gone. He's not been seen in two years. Don't you remember, John? He left all of us. Remember? He's probably dead now. Where's Claire? Who? Who's Claire? Uh, I, I... I don't know. Come on. Let's get back. Carol has our next job ready. 